Okay, so how does the whole 3D thing work anyway? Well, there's a typical workflow that you're going to use in most projects, and that's modeling first, then you're going to texture, light, animate, render, and composite. Now, I say it's a typical workflow. You're not always going to do all of these things, but you will always do some of these things. So what I thought I would do, instead of just trying to explain it to you, I thought maybe I'd try and show it to you very quickly. So let's pretend that we have a project from a client, and he wants us to create his logo. And by the way, don't try and follow along with me. Just try and watch, because we're going to be going over most of this information several times. So this first time, just sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. Okay, so I'm going to drop in a text object. I'm going to change that to something more meaningful. Change the font to Arial Black. I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger. Zoom out. I'm going to drop in an extrude nerves. And we're going to put the text object underneath the extrude nerves. So now we have some 3D depth here. I'll just move this out. Okay, so this would be the modeling portion of our project. Let's get to the texturing. I'm going to double click here to create a material. We'll create a simple material. We'll give it a gray color. We'll give it some reflection. Drop that on our floor object. Create another material. Make that color somewhere around here. Turn reflection on for this material as well. Dial it down. We'll put that on the text. Do a quick render. Now we've completed the texturing portion of the project. Let's come out here. Let's drop a light in the scene. Pull the light up. I'm going to go over to the top view. Pull this light out in front. And duplicate the light, pulling Command or Control and pulling down on the light. I'll drag that back here. Duplicate the light again, drag it over here. I go back into my perspective view. We turn on the shadows for the backlight. There we go. So we'll call that our lighting. It's done. Let me go over here and let's just see if we can go through the D here. I'm going to create a camera. I'll click on this little black symbol to make it the active camera. I'm going to change the dimensions on the camera to 1280 by 720. I'm going to click right here, click on coordinates, click on the position X, Y, and Z, and put a keyframe there at zero. And also, I want to keyframe the bank as well. So let's take the bank, put that at 21, and we'll set a keyframe for that as well. Now we'll come out here to 20, put that back to zero, zoom out, the keyframe there. So now we have this quick little animation. Let's go ahead and go up to 30 and pull the camera back just a little bit more. And we'll put another keyframe here. And we'll make the total timeline 30 frames. So now we have that going on. Okay, so let's look at rendering. I'm going to come up here to my render settings. I've got 1280 by 720. I'm going to save these files. I'm going to save this to a folder I've already created, 1618. Turn on multipass. For my multipass, I'm just going to put in RGBA for right now. And again, don't worry too much about this. We will be talking about this later in depth. Create a multipath render. I'm also going to create a compositing file that's going to work with After Effects. I'm going to save that out. So I'm going to output all frames, save. It's going to save TIFF file. And we're going to save a Photoshop file and the After Effects AEC file. Any aliasing, best. Okay, looks like we're ready. So now we're going to click right here. And get this in here so you can see it. 
the rendering process has started. So now when I come back, we'll be in After Effects, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so we're back in After Effects, and we're going to double click on the 1618.aec file that was saved by Cinema 4D. We'll double click that, come right over here, double click the comp. Now our 3D file is in After Effects. The beauty now is that we can come in here and we can apply the effects from After Effects that in a 3D program would take incredible amounts of time to produce. Again, we'll go over this in much greater detail in a later movie, but for now, that's the general workflow when you're working in 3D, model, texture, lights, animation, rendering, and compositing.